Thank you so much. Very good presentation. And uh, yeah, it's a very challenging line that you're exactly. working on. I mean, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't get more challenging than that. 2D in a highly 3D structural setting, yeah. um, thrust belt basically. Um, so we we are trying continuously to improve the the workflow for um, uh, for for depth imaging uh, and time processing as well. But let me just focus on the depth imaging uh, aspects of your presentation. So I, I think you're on the right track. I think we definitely need uh, advanced um, depth migration algorithms like RTM. And due to the, the poor quality of the input data into tomography, you are right. We probably uh, have to admit that uh, for this particular data, uh, with not sufficient offsets to illuminate uh, the complex area, we probably have to resort to, uh, to just simple scan, which is not rocket science, right? Um, however, for, for future attempts, uh, by Teak and our and, and, and other seismic uh, companies and in-house by Air Patrol and their partners, I would like to advise to um, to apply more boundary conditions. So you you started to build a high-velocity zone uh, in the in the overthrust. Uh, I, I would like to uh, to to point out that probably in the overthrust, when you look at the surface geology, we have a lot of complexity um, folding faulting in the overthrust itself and therefore we cannot directly image these steep faults because of lack of offsets and, and other problems. So a, a simple homogeneous overthrust uh, velocity may be helpful but it's, it's not enough I think. So during your processing, time processing, you produced a, a, low free, a, a, a near surface model for your static solution, right? like uh, GLI, um, what, what, what was the final outcome? I think a refraction tomography model. No, I think for this was a tomography statics model. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that gives you a binary condition when you combine that with your surface geology and maybe with a, 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 a structural framework in the near surface, so extending the near surface or the surface geology down you are in the position to actually improve your velocity model in the overthrust more than just simply building a uh, high velocity layer. Um, have you tried that? Um, if not, um, do you think that would help? Well, thank you very much, Edward. That's, that's true, I agree with you. Um, this infill that we did was the simplest possible case, and of course this doesn't capture all the complexities. So yes, this would be definitely worth a try, I think, to use this information for building uh, the velocities in a well, better and more correct way from top down, exactly. But we did not try this yet in this project, no. Okay. Any other question for Thomas? Other question for Thomas? Well, muchas gracias. Thank you. A continuación, teníamos programado.